Welcome viewers, this is Green Gaia Tarot and this is your next 7 days tarot prediction pay card reading. So take a deep breath, select your option from pile number 1, 2 and 3 and we will start the reading from pile number 1. Welcome pile number 1, this is your next 7 days tarot prediction pick a card reading. Let's begin the reading with the tarot then we'll follow your oracle cards. Pile number 1, your first card is the Knight of Wands. Next, you have the Six of Wands. Then you have the Ten of Cups. Next, you have the Hierophant, the Major Arcana. And the final card is the Knight of Swords. So, pile number one with two knights being present in your spread, I can tell this is going to be a week when you are moving forward. You are not stopping and you know what you have to do and you are doing things right with the first card being the knight of wands you are following your passion and you are eager to get through all of the situation that demands your attention and you are very organized at this point of time regarding the situation that will unfold throughout the week one thing that you need to do is definitely be persistent with whatever you are doing because the knight of wands sometime loses focus and you don't need to do that the very next card is the six of wands this is the card that tells that your efforts Hard work, accomplishments will be appreciated and recognized and you will be honored for that. So victory is yours. You don't need to worry about anything much because things are looking pretty good after this. Because the very next card to the Six of Wands is the Ten of Cups. The ultimate happiness, abundance, prosperity, growth, wonderful time with family is there. So you are celebrating this week for sure. The very next card is the Hierophant. This is the card that tells about your ascension. This can be spiritual ascension. This can be financial or relationship wise ascension. And whatever it is, you are leveling up. Either this is going to be a committed relationship or this is definitely can be a promotion or some kind of learning and growing opportunity that is going to help you achieve better results for yourself. The final card for you is the Knight of Swords. This is the card that tells that you need to follow the path of clear communication, knowledge, and it will help you more and more. As much as you are well equipped with knowledge, information, and clear communication, you will see the doors will open for you more and more. So pile number one, that was the tarot for next seven days. Let's see what we have for you in the Oracle cards. Okay, you have luck is on your side. Yes, the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant was there. So luck is definitely on your side and you just don't need to worry. Take action, move forward. Your next card is Intention. This is the card that tells that it is high time when you need to set your intentions and act accordingly. You need to have a plan. You need to have a vision and you need to follow that. Your next card is tranquility. Make time to relax, be still and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self-care. So whenever you get time you need to focus on self-care also you have been working really hard and when you get a little time you need to invest that solitude into a very much needed self-care so pile number one this was your next seven days tarot prediction pick a card reading if you like my reading please continue supporting my channel with like share subscribe and comment Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great week. 
Welcome pile number two. This is your next seven days tarot prediction pick a card reading. Let's begin the reading with the tarot then follow your oracle cards. Pile number two, your first card is the five of swords. Next you have the nine of cups. Then you have the ace of pentacles. And next you have the page of wands. Then you have the five of pentacles. And the final card is the Page of Swords. Pile number two. With the Five of Swords, I can clearly see this is going to be a week when you need to choose fairness and truth for your path forward. And this path forward is going to be a bit lonely because not many can follow you on this journey. And it is your journey to travel forth the very next card is the nine of cups this is the card that tells you are about to receive your answers to your prayers and wish fulfillment is there some kind of celebratory event is about to happen this can be in your personal life this can be in your work life Whatever it is, it is going to bring in a lot of good fortune and abundance for you. The very next card is the Ace of Pentacles. So there might be an opportunity, an offer, a proposal of some sort coming in for you. And it is time for you to explore options, opportunities to grow and ascend. The very next card is the Page of Wands. This is the card that tells that it's time you need to be more enthusiastic, more it's not anxious, <laughs> enthusiastic and willing to pursue what you desire the most. It is going to be your willpower to drive you forth. Because the very next card is the Five of Pentacles. This is the card that tells that you are feeling lonely and only you hold the key to free your mind at this point. Because yes, I already told you as the Five of Swords is your first card. This is going to be a week when you being fair and truthful is definitely going to separate you from everyone around you. And you need to stand your ground with the fairness for sure. If you feel lonely, you need to understand that you will find the right people at the right time by your side. Maybe it seems that you have no one, but you are never alone. That you have to understand. Your final card is the Page of Swords. This is the card that tells that yes, you need to definitely open your eyes more, try to find more information, gathering knowledge, having clear communication is something that is going to allow you achieve more in your life. So pile number two, that was the trouble for you. Let's see what we have for you in the Oracle cards. Okay, you have prosperity lies ahead. We already knew with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, definitely there will be prosperities ahead of you. The very next card is Beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles. We already got that part also that new beginnings are there for you and you need to start this journey. As you can see in this image, this person is alone and they are definitely moving forward they are not stopping and it's time for them to walk forth and find the right people they can't be stuck anymore it's time they need to go your next card is simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities so if there is something that is stagnant in your life, you need to let that go. As you can see with the beginnings card being there, new beginnings are here. You need to create space. To create space, you need to let go of old and to welcome prosperity and new beginnings. You need to have an energetical space also. 
home work life you can declutter any day but your energy needs to be at that also with the page of wands you already have to have a very enthusiastic approach towards life you need to find the eagerness inside you to become what you want to your final card that is your extra card is feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision so whatever was keeping you stuck it's time for you to break that chain and follow your intuition while making the decision so file number two this was your next seven days to prediction pick a card reading if you like my reading please continue supporting my channel thank you very much for your participation have a great week Welcome pile number three. This is your next seven days tarot prediction pick a card reading. Let's begin the reading with the tarot then we'll follow your oracle cards. Pile number three your first card is the king of wands. Next you have the emperor, the major arcana. Then you have the king of swords. Next you have the four of cups and the final card is the three of pentacles. Pile number three with your spread I can clearly see this is going to be a week of action. There is a very strong presence of masculine energies. You have the king of wands, you have the emperor, you have the king of swords. So you are going to be on the go 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 in this week. Let's begin with the king of wands father of wands is the king of wands i can clearly see you are following your passion you are leading you are taking charge you are not stopping for anything your energies are definitely aligned and grounded and you are definitely magically guided and inspired to achieve what you desire and to help others also in their path forward to achieve their goals the very next card is the emperor this is the card that tells that yes there is stability prosperity growth knowledge abundance there is nothing that you need to worry about you got this the very next card is the king of swords this is the card that tells you being a wise person and a person relying on truth clear communication and knowledge you are definitely finding justice for yourself and for others you are a very good leader if you are leading some people and if you are handling any situation you you are handling it with knowledge and clear communication the very next card is the four of cups this is the card that tells that there are some shadows of the past in your mind and that might keep you too busy to miss some opportunities that will whisper in this week so you need to be careful whenever you are dwelling in some past or in some nostalgic situation always remember you living in the past might make you lose an opportunity of the future the very next card is the three of pentacles this is the card that tells you are laying a solid foundation of a new project or situation that will be bringing you a wonderful future so you are ready you are prepared you are collaborating co-creating probably a partnership is happening and it is happening for good so pile number three things are looking promising only if you are able to free your mind from the darkness of the past or the shadows of the past so let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards have faith in your dreams yes you got this you just need to have faith in your dreams you have the knowledge you have the energy you have the passion to follow 
what you dream so trust them move forward your next card is willpower your willpower is going to be the key of your success and you are definitely achieving what you desire with the help of your willpower remain strong remain confident in your will and you will see the changes your final card is playtime the dolphin know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation this is the card that tells that yes everything is so serious everything is on the go everything is definitely work 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 but don't forget the play time because as you play and enjoy good times you are creating positive energy refreshment for your mind the oxygen for your mind and you will definitely find more miracles and manifestation as you have the positive energy in you to attract more positivity in your life so pile number three this was your next seven days tarot prediction pick card reading if you like my reading please continue supporting this channel with like share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week so viewers this was your next seven days tarot prediction pick a card reading if you like my reading please continue supporting my channel with like share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead